<laughs> Meanwhile, other scores in that district, District 14, 3A Division 2, always very fun. East Bernard gets in the win column with a win over Danbury. Uh, uh, bowling beats Rice Consolidated. And over there on that right side, how about the win for the Tide Haven Tigers? Big win over a really resurgent Wallace Brazos squad down in Matagorda County. They've made the playoffs nine consecutive times, and they are a team to be reckoned with. And we're pleased to be joined on High School Scoreboard Live by the head coach of the Tidehaven Tigers, Coach David Lucio, joining us. Coach, congratulations on the victory. This was obviously an important one in district play. What was it about your performance uh, that allowed you guys to go out there and get the win? Oh, man, I think um, it was our homecoming week, and so uh, we still got a fairly young team, so uh, staying focused, I think, was the key. And um, and then the thing about Brazos is they're an up and coming program, uh, drastically improved. And so you know, just uh, facing that with our kids and, uh, and the whole hoopla with homecoming, uh, keeping them focused, and uh, we were able to do that. That's always a fun challenge. Uh, you mentioned the young team. You entered last year, uh, last year's postseason as a three seed, taking your team to the third round. You leaned heavily on freshmen and sophomores. I'm curious to know, through their growth and production this year, how did that early playoff experience perhaps help in their maturation this year? Oh, uh, it's huge. Uh, we've got a uh, way. We, we found we managed a, a way to get even younger. Our quarterback this year is a freshman. And uh, but luckily he's a coach's kid, so uh, he got a head start on the on the football life. Um, but uh, the sophomore class from last year, which is now juniors, uh, that that extra three games and just the uh, the the stress that it puts on them and all that playing regular season games just seems to be a lot easier for them this year. And uh, of course, you know they've been through it, so any younger kids we have, they can help them help them out and help them through it. Uh, it's down the stretch you come, Coach, now in, in district play. This is a, a difficult district. Obviously, you get Danbury next week, a, a team I think is better than their record would indicate, and then you're closing out with teams like Bowling and Van Vleck. How do you keep your kids focused, knowing full well that really, in a lot of ways, the playoffs have already started for you guys? Yeah, that, that's a good point about the playoffs starting. That's what we told them uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, with our first game with Rice Consolidated. Uh, our playoffs began back then. I told them every game from here on is the most important game of your life. It's the most important game of my life. And I, that sounds crazy, you know, put, put that on them. But uh, I think it helps to keep them focused because the reality is it, it kind of is. And uh, Danbury, uh, the record's not too too good. But um, playing in Danbury, anybody in this area could tell you that's always tough. Their kids play hard. So that's going to be a challenge. And then bowling, I think, is, uh, I, you know, from the get-go, I felt bowling was um, probably a little – underrated at the beginning of the season. They're not underrated now that people know about them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to be a huge challenge. And then Van Vleck is a uh, uh, in-county rival with us, and we have to go to their place. So um, we're gonna, we've got, we got some big ones. And the playoffs, the first couple rounds, no matter almost who we play, it's probably going to seem almost just like another game compared to these uh, few we got in front of us. Well, I, I can tell you we have that meeting with bowling October 28th circled on our calendars right here, Coach. Looking forward to that. For now, he's David Lucio of Tidehaven Tigers sitting second in District 14, 3A, Division 2, improving to 3-0 and in that district action. Congrats. Enjoy it and appreciate you uh, joining us here tonight, Coach. Oh, I'm glad y'all could have me.